Amber Gibson and we're going to, it's going to be cheese pizza day, so we're going to be making little mini cheese pizzas that are a great snack for, well, pretty much everyone, <laughs> but especially after school snacks or even just a quick thing to throw together in case you decide last minute, hey, I want to order pizza. These would be really easy to throw together. So um, we're going to start with one cup of Cambrook's baking mix, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And then we also have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, garlic, a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a quarter teaspoon of salt to go in there. You give that a nice a little stir, kind of blend that in a little bit. We have two tablespoons of olive oil. You kind of want that to start coming together a little bit. Now we're going to start, we have half a cup of water, but we're going to start with a quarter cup to begin with because you don't want it to be too soggy. You can want it to kind of come together as a nice dough that you can uh, smooth out and it's nice and pliable. And a little more water here. See that starting to come together. There we go coming together. You don't want it too sticky, but you do want it to come together as a nice dough. So there we go. Super simple, right? Okay, that's perfect. Now we're going to lightly dust our counter with extra baking mix. You don't want that to stick too much. And then we're going to put the dough on the counter and we're going to knead it together until it becomes a nice and smooth dough that we can roll out. If it seems like it's still a little bit sticky, even after the dough or the baking mix is on the counter, you can add just a little bit extra into your hands and kind of move that in there. Let's see, that dough's been smelling nice and delicious. Mm. All right, so it's starting to come together. We want to make sure that it's dry enough that when we roll it out, it doesn't stick to our rolling pin. But that looks good. It's easy to use, easy to put together. A little more on the counter there. And we're going to ro roll this out to about a quarter inch thickness because um, we want the dough to be able to fit into these muffin tins. Um, and when you use the muffin tins, you're probably going to want to at least spray them down some with some cooking spray to prevent any sticking from cheese or the crust itself. You can use a bigger rolling pin. I just thought these were real cute. <laughs> and it's a little easy for a small amount. So here we go. Again, you don't want it too thin, but you don't want it real thick either. Here we go. About right here, and then um, if you have a biscuit cutter of about two inches in diameter, that's usually what I would use. Or you can find a small glass, and it should be about the same diameter as the bottom of the muffin tin. So we're going to cut these out with our cup or biscuit cutter. And gently pick them up and move them into our muffin tin. Right here. So we're going to put those in there like that. Okay, just kind of press them down up around just the bottom edges there. Push those in. We're going to go around and do the whole muffin tin. Nice and light into the bottom of the muffin tins. Fits perfectly. And then as you know, collect the dough. And we're going to move on to our tomato sauce, which I'm using Cambrook's Marinara Minis. Use about a quarter teaspoon on each pizza crust. And it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really fills out the crust nicely. And then we got our cheese mix. Just going to top a little bit on each one. There we go. And now I have my oven preheated to 375. So we're going to bake these off at 375 for about five to eight minutes. Just until the crust is 
firm and the cheese is melted a little bit. All right, into the oven we go. All right, those look really good. Nice and tasty. And this, this recipe makes a, a serving size of 132 grams in weight of the mini pizzas. These can be frozen and warmed up later, thawed, warmed up later in a toaster oven. Uh, probably an air fryer would work okay on a lower temperature. Um, it's 40 milligrams PAG per serving. So that's roughly around one gram of protein. So let's get these out and get a good look at them. All right. And there we are. Nice, delicious mini pizzas. It took no time at all to get them done. Quick, simple. Even the kids could probably love to help make their own little decorate or choices of toppings, if you will. Stay tuned because there will be more fun and nutritious, delicious recipes to come. See you soon.